You know, I don't think there is a sh harder shot in golf or a more terrifying shot in golf than the, the shank. Now, some people might argue that hitting across water is terrible and, and much worse, but I'm gonna tell you that most of the people I've ever worked with over the years, the shank is a terrifying shot. And in, in today's segment, what I wanna do is really talk to you about how they occur and a very simple method that you can use that will help you to get out of them fast and permanently. So let's talk about it for a moment. Let's, let's talk about what the problem is. Someone stands over the golf ball and they set up to it and they make a swing and then this thing rockets sideways off the club face. Now for a lot of people, they tend to be hit out of this part of the club here, right into the heel of the golf club and even onto the hosel of the golf club here. This is where it tends to happen. Now here's the reason it happens most of the time. There are a couple of different types. I'm gonna focus on the most common one. What tends to happen is this, the golfer sets up to the ball. They can have a pretty good style. And here's the thing you need to understand. The golf club is on the ground in front of me right now. So this is in front of me, this would be to the side of me, and this would be behind me. People at Shank tend to get the golf club from in front of them too much to behind them too quickly. Now, if you look at this golf club and I hold it there, you can see that the golf club now is pointing somewhere over here. The golf club head is a long way away from the handle. So when they swing down, the golf club is gonna swing on two inside to outer path, and because the golf club is moving away from them too much, they tend to strike it in the heel, in this area of the club. As a reaction to that, some people will take it too much behind them and then throw the club back over this way and get them going the other way. Either way you look at it, what we've got here is a golf club that is just too much behind the body line. That is the problem. Now the reason for that is when people swing the golf club back, this is what happens. We've got two wrist functions that I want to talk about here. The first one is wrist cocking. We're all familiar with that. The second one is called wrist rolling where the wrist is doing this. So when you get a combination of a wrist cock and a wrist roll, the club face gets in very, very open position compared to where it started. So if I start here and it's straight, but I cock and roll the club behind me, it opens the golf club up. So when I bring it back down, not only is the golf club swinging in the wrong direction, the face is really open. So you've got no chance of getting the golf ball to go in that direction. So how do we sort it out? Well, it's not so hard. Here's the key. The thing you need to remember is this. The golf club for a pitch shot starts on the ground in front of you. When you swing back, you keep the golf club in front of your body. You don't let the golf club get over into this place here because you'll never be able to get out of these shanks if you do that. So let me show you. So we've got the golf club here, it swings back and it stays in front. Now I turn my shoulders and I make sure the club stays in front of me all the way through. So it doesn't end up anywhere other than in front of me. Let me play a shot, show you what it looks like. Now that's turned out pretty good. And what that was, what helped that situation was the fact that I kept the golf club in front of me. Now, is there a way we can do that? Is there a simple prop we can use? Yeah, we can use a bunker rake. Take a bunker rake, place it on the ground like this in the direction that you wanna go, like this. Put a ball on this side of it, kind of a little scary, but I'm gonna put a ball right there, just near it. There's enough room there you can see. Now, when I go back, the golf club is gonna to have to travel above this part of the bunker rake. And what I want it to be doing is the club is gonna still be in front of me like the rake is here. What I don't wanna be doing is this, because I think you can see with the bunker rake on the ground, if the golf club is over here, then I would probably hit the rake. Now, of course, I don't wanna do that. So you have gotta be careful with this, but this is to, to really illustrate a point for you. So, golf club on the ground, Keep the golf club in front. So it's gonna go back and through. And there's another golf shot that's traveling down the line. So the key to eliminating the, the shank, 
you can cock your wrist, but you've got to watch that you don't cock and roll the club. So cocking the wrist to the side without this club face angle opening up is key, number one. Secondly, make sure the club stays in front of you. Turn your body with it so the club's still staying in front of you and you will not hit any more shanks. You will hit the ball onto the green every time, eliminate the shank, eliminate the fear of the shank and play a lot better.